sometimes I feel bad that, you know, this Helen to come and I'm here and they're like, hello, ATL, and good, how are you doing, fellas? And here I come and just drop the energy by saying, hello. <laughs> <laughs> but, but the message I have tonight is really uplifting. Okay, so pay attention to this one. You know, there's a lot of nasty shit that goes on out there, all kinds of measles outbreaks and, you know, political assassinations. But once in a while, there's an event that, like, restores your faith in humanity and your, you know, you'd be proud of your fellow Americans. I feel such an event was the llama drama. Uh, <laughs> you guys know what I'm talking about? <laughs> yeah, you need to pay attention to what's going on in society. <laughs> anyway, so here's what happened about these two loose llamas, really pristine animals. You know, one white, one black, well-groomed, just strolling around in the street like the main road of Sun City in Arizona. <laughs> okay? Now, when I first heard, I was like, oh, shit. <laughs> you know, they'll be like, policemen descending on it with armored cars and SWAT vehicles, and you know, these two pure animals are going to go down in a hail of bullets, uh, you know, for no fault of their own, especially the black one. But anyway, <laughs> so, <laughs> but you know, I was pleasantly surprised. Why? Because these animals were contained by our fellow citizens with no excessive force, with no use of firearms, just pure, simple, old-school lasso. <laughs> you know, that is the profound positive impact of the movie Fifty Shades of Grey on our society. <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you, I am 100% convinced that they learned how to deftly use a lasso from that movie. <laughs> why, why can't we give you know, lassos to our police force? I mean, they already have handcuffs. I'm telling you, lasso is only like a handcuff to like, like an extension cord. <laughs> it's exactly the same thing. So, but, you know, I don't mean to trivialize their effort because this was some brave shit. I mean, a lot of people, you know, when I talk to them and I say, hey, I do stand up, they're like, oh man, that was one of some guts. You just stand there in front of strangers. You know, maybe, but I'll tell you what, I will never, never chase an animal on a city street with ropes. <laughs> you know, that is just, even if it was a little goat, even if it was like my personal favorite goat, I'd be like, you know what? <laughs> Fuck it, it will come back. <laughs> it will come back when, it's, when it needs its blankie. Yeah. So, but you know, talking about just bravery, there were a couple of other attempts that when if you watch the video like carefully, which I do, <laughs> I watched the video carefully and there were some other attempts. They, they were not that smart before the lasso came in and this one guy came and he like sidled up to the llama and tried to give her a chokehold and the llama was like, Shh, <laughs> not so fast. He was gone. <laughs> and then this other one were like 15 dudes in an open field like trying to like capture the llamas as if they were like little monarch <laughs> butterflies. It failed too, but it was a good thing to watch. It almost was like a poor man <coughs> running with the bulls. <laughs> <laughs> but either way, I was impressed because either it requires a lot of bravery or profound stupidity, which is, you know, either way, that's fine. And also, I've been talking about profound stupidity and running of the bulls. Did you hear about the guy from Marietta who got gold in his ass this year? <laughs> By the bull, yeah, Benjamin Miller, 20 years old. Google it if you don't believe me. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, here's the thing that we as Americans should realize that, you know, we are no longer, evolution has no longer made us to run, uh, you know, not leave alone running from uh, like a raging herd of bulls. So if you willingly do that and you get, you know, poked in your sphincter, that's, that's not an unlikely outcome. <laughs> <laughs> what was even more surprising is all these guys trying to like yank the bull away with its tail. You know, I have no experience with bulls and maybe that's the prescribed method. It was so gay looking. <laughs> 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 but we reward, we reward
encourage such behavior in our society because I'm sure when the guy comes back, there'll be like tons of girls who say, oh, he's so adventurous. Oh, he understands me. So what if he doesn't have a job or you know has permanent <laughs> anal seepage because he got ripped a new one <laughs> by a wild animal in Spain? <laughs> then again, what do I know? <laughs> hey, I have a perfect sphincter, but I don't have a girlfriend. <laughs> I don't get any action. You don't get an action for a long time. I mean, even the bulls start looking attractive. <laughs> bulls start looking attractive. I'm just saying, okay. Nah, maybe a cow. Not a, I'm not gay. Thank you all, that's my time.